When Alberti codified perspective in the early 15th century, that was a remarkable moment. And there are artists like Piero della Francesca and Uccello, who famously was devoted to perspective. There came a time when all these things were known, and then in Cubism, Picasso and Braque said, let's look at the representation of space again, and let's look at it as Cubis and deriving from Cezanne. They began to look at it fresh. And de Chirico, in the Surrealist period, made other inventions and did perspective all wrong. And uh, then uh, Escher came along and did uh, uh, worked with perspective in an absurd and paradoxical way. And I see myself as part of that tradition, if you like, of the op artists and uh, Escher and de Chirico and to some extent the Cubists and then going back uh, to the Renaissance. I think it's all part of a, um, a, a, a the artist's interest in space, really. We're terribly interested in the, the space of things. And in a sense, sculptors are interested in space, obviously, because they make things that invade space, but, but painters are very interested in space to somehow create it. And my pictures are halfway between paintings and sculptures, because they're paintings that have been pulled out uh, as, if, as if they were made of chewing gum, you know, they've, they've been made 3D, they're low reliefs.